Women's Empowerment, Women Leading. This is a podcast for women by women, asking the question, are women leading? Join me for the conversation at Tarimana Miki, proudly brought to you by Gender and Media Connect, a place where we talk about women's issues and you have your voice and say. Hello there. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is our very first podcast. It is titled, Are Women Leading? It's a podcast for women by women. My name is Tariru Maramiki and I will be your host for the next 13 episodes. This production is probably brought to you by Gender and Media Connect as well as the Swedish government and women's coalition of zimbabwe so even though this is a podcast for women by women i am joined in the studio by two gentlemen we thought that we would start the conversation off there Mm. um talking to men and the question for this day is patriarchy and female leadership so jasper and Rumi, good afternoon thank you for joining me all right so we're talking about patriarchy and women leadership and the question is are we ready for female leadership i'm a woman and i'll say i am I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Your personal experience when you were growing up, perhaps, did you see women leading? Personal experience, I would say I have seen women leading. And um, a lot of examples, like my, my friends, my friend's mom, like she was the one who, hold, who held the foot of the home, you know, for them to go to school, for them to go to the university, for them to go even out of the country. She was holding it up, even though the dad was around. But there was that element of leadership where we all knew that it was the mom doing everything, and the dad probably was just the head. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So how that's that's interesting. <laughs> how does he become the head when she is the one who's leading? Because this is a big thing. A lot of people say that mm-hmm. the man is the head of the house, and is it even yeah. a normal to and the head of household? So exactly. But he may be head of household. So why can't you accept the dynamics? Perhaps she is the head of the house. Animar in the air, I'm sorry. Is, <laughs> is, is it about the money though? Mm. Because we're saying that it's the father who's providing, mm-hmm. right? When it comes to the finances, probably he's providing the money to buy groceries, school fees for you to get the, your clothes, your uniform. Uh, but the mom now's job is to put things in order, right? Yeah. You give your wife the money, she knows where to how to use the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So probably I know it's now different, but back then classified as the head of the house. Okay. So does that mean now uh you, I mean with the whole issue of equality, men and women are at the same level? Husband and wife are equal, there's no head? Yeah, in other in other homesteads, yes. In other homesteads. Yes. Okay. So in the home domestic setting the women can be said leader. but what i have found from my personal experience and talking to other women is i can't make a decision until i talk to my husband let's hear what my husband has to say and sometimes unfortunately mm-hmm. i can't do this mm-hmm. and i have to wonder if in your words as you put it that the woman is leading then how come she has to ask for permission can you ask for permission as a leader yes you can because um, you might be leading, but you have a team that that you work with. Uh, you have a partner that you're moving with. Okay. You might be the head. You might be the one who's leading. But at the end of the day, you, you're not moving by yourself. You can be a leader, decide to make a decision, but the decision is wrong. Or the decision is not the right decision. So you need a partner who guides you, who helps you, and assists you in making the right decisions. Okay. So your, your thoughts, Manashe? Just yeah, all right. So one of the things I yeah. think um, um, on that topic is that I'm, 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 I've been studying a lot about masculinity and femini- uh, femininity. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, one of the things is that like in nature, you know, even biologically, like women are feminine and men are uh, masculine. masculine. Yeah. So that's why sometimes it's, it's, it's say that um, a man has to lead when you're like, so because you have to lead, um, you have to you know, there's always that element where, you know, a woman, no matter how successful she is, no matter how, like, how much, how much she earns more money, she's always going to want a place where she can feel safe, where she can feel secure. And feeling safe emo- includes emotionally. Feeling safe includes, you know, yes, financially, let's say, but but financially might actually be, the guy might not have a lot of money, but there's just that spa- safe space that she needs to, to get into. So I do think... Um, 
I do think there has to be a balance. And I, I think even if the, the man does not have, you know, the, 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 the money, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but he can be a safe space for her to, to thrive, though she can be a leader also. So we do believe that women also can lead. So I like the fact that you, you yeah. brought in this aspect of women need to feel safe because I was also reading up on this mm-hmm. and I heard the reason why Jay Toba would say women need to feel safe is like back in the stone age where, you know, we had wild animals coming <laughs> yeah, and then this guy yeah. will come with his, I don't know, club or whatever yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to hit the animals mm-hmm. and it's to protect the woman. Yeah. But this is 2021. <laughs> You've got the security companies right. and if it's about provision, you are going to work. You can buy your own groceries. If it's about emotional support, mm-hmm. you can always see a therapist. All I'm saying is, okay. all I'm saying is, why my options? And this is, I'm not saying we're going to do it. Sure, sure. I'll give you an example. Yeah. You stay in a, in, a, in a place where you have an alarm. Mm-hmm. You probably have a dog. Yeah. Right? A thief comes in, right? Mm-hmm. Do you wake up and leave your husband sleeping or do you wake your husband up? And, I, would, I would have and, to wake and, the husband. Why? I'd have to wake the husband because physically I'm not as built or, or strong as he is. This is why I'm expecting, I mean, statistically speaking, most mm. of the robbers are men. And is it? Yeah. So I can, in, if, if I go outside, this man is not going to be intimidated by me. If anything, he'll just say, sit down, okay? And then <laughs> let me do my thing. But if it's my husband, he can go out and confront this guy or he'll even run away. So that's my response to your question. So the question also, like maybe I'll ask, doesn't that also paint a picture of how it's supposed to be like now, especially when you look at how life is, you know, like you still need that male figure. Mm-hmm. Yes, physically, yes, but also in like the, the element of saying masculinity and the element of saying femininity. Yeah. As much as you can actually lead in your own right, but you still need that masculinity. So, I, so that's what I actually think. I yeah. absolutely agree. We need uh-huh. both men and women. I'm not one of those who says, oh, no, we don't need any men. Yeah. I, I think that's ridiculous. Uh-huh. We need to both coexist. Exactly. But in terms of Nyadze leadership, we spoke about the husband being the head of the household. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk about body autonomy, female body autonomy. Mm-hmm. And this is, yeah. for a lot of women, we do not have that. And what I mean by that is contraception, what type of contraception method that you're going to use in, in your in your home or uh, on your body, uh, your husband gets to determine put pan up and do three and this is a extra you but not just that as well ye pregnancy mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. if a woman gets pregnant in this country in Zimbabwe she if she doesn't want the baby She's not allowed to legally abort, mm. right? And as a result of that, we've got so many women who are uh, practicing these backyard abortions and we know Jinima Ripple of Faith on say, I don't want this child. I don't want to do A, B, C, A, D or do options of contraception. But how are we leading then? Why would you want to, okay, in, in the terms of abortion, why would you want to terminate a life? Why is this a question? Why are we not asking men the same question? Why are you choosing to walk away? Because it takes two people to make a baby and the responsibility is on two people to raise this baby. But this man, for example, has Mm. decided he wants to walk away and he will walk away Mm. and to get contribution, you've got to go go to the courts to get that. But this woman Mm. is left pregnant with absolutely no choice. We've got the children on the streets right now. We've got children being dumped, children being killed. Is this really a thing? Why can women not choose for themselves what they want to do with their bodies? I think uh, looking at the nature of um, of how we have grown up, uh, patriarchy uh, in the African culture, it's, it's always that element of saying uh, the woman always has to, what can you say, always has to, uh, submit the woman always has to make sure that uh, like if everything goes wrong it's always the woman like let's say she, she gets pregnant um, maybe miscarriages happen it's always it's, it's always the woman yeah. so I think she I think does, it's, a, it's, it's a mindset it's still the woman's problem yeah it's, it's still the mindset so you know what like I think nowadays who I, okay, I wouldn't say for everyone but I would say the modern men Maybe those who are more secure in themselves, they understand the element of saying, I have to be responsible. Let's say she gets pregnant. You don't love her, but you have to take the responsibility of saying, I would love 
the child. Like if you want the child or maybe if I don't approve, okay, personally, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of abortion or anything. But let's say if you decide that you want to, to abort, you have to make sure that she doesn't go in, like do it herself but it it takes those it, it takes a man who can be responsible enough to be able to what to work with the with the women and i think that's the reason why a lot of women actually nowadays feel like men are useless because they don't take over they don't take the responsibility of what they have done mm -hmm. and they just leave that to us yeah so it's one thing for us to say this man is not responsible but we also have the culture so I suppose culture has a, a huge part to play in, in, in female leadership and we've got a long way to go. Panivanuzi to bring up this aspect of religion. The Bible mm. says you can't um, do A, B, C, and D. Uh, but I don't know if the Bible also says that men should, you know, be able to to walk away and negate all responsibility. In the Bible, it doesn't specifically say, but you'd find that most men or men in the Bible used to act that way. You'd find like people like it was Solomon. Mm -hmm. had, it's recorded that it had seven hundred con concubines, uh -huh. my small house. Okay. So, I I think it's just. Go to nature our room as well. <laughs> well, you know, the people say that in nature our room and do but I have to wonder, is it really and is Solomon the one that we've got to quote as a fine example of, of what a man should be? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. No, no, no. There's David. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh, okay. Oh yeah, David, David was something else. Mm -hmm. Like uh, David, like you know, it's okay, like yes. Uh, I I love David, actually. Like my favorite Bible character is David. Why? I, I love the fact that he was human yeah, enough. He was I love, I love the fact that he was human enough. And and I feel like a lot of people, like we are not human enough. We, we try to pretend. So you were talking about religion. If I am Papa Ningi, mm -hmm. um, like if there are scandals that come, like I'm a prophet, uh, like you like a girl and you sleep with her and when it comes, you start bashing them. You know that 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 just shows that they there's that he he hypocrisy hypocrisy yeah. exactly. So so why I, I like David is that he was human enough. And to be honest, when I was reading the Bible and, and looking at even like um he had concubines, he had wives, he had concubines. Even in his old age, they had to give him a a, a wife, a virgin, you know, just to keep him warm. And I'm like, okay. Are the, are the virgins the only people who are warm? The only time I don't know. Like, oh. what, but, but, but the, the, my point, though, my point yeah. is that, like, I ask myself, like, like, so why is it that even now we we, we say that one woman or oh, this? Okay, this is just another topic, right? Mm. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying also the point that um, uh, on religion we always have to be, um, we always have to study context. Yeah. We always have to study context. If we are going to study context on the Bible, what they did in that culture, and now, you know, we have to just see the balance. So, do you suppose because religion is a is also a huge thing with yeah. this patriarchy? Uh, from what I've read in the Bible, there's yeah. a lot of patriarchy as well. Mm -hmm. Are women leading? You give this example of my virgins, and we know in our country there's certain parts uh, or religious sects that still do that virginity yeah. testing, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and you know who 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 was so to speak, okay. and you know you're the one mm -hmm. who's going to be taken there. Yeah, true. If we continue on this path mm. and we are talking about women's emancipation we want the women to lead and yet because i can only imagine that these people who are pledging these children and doing these things are the same people who lead us kind of from our offices and it's just mm -hmm. Sunday or whatever and upon going to church and yeah. then now you're also engaging in these things so realistically looking at this do women even stand a chance which means you need to be a virgin. You need to behave a certain way. Otherwise, if you don't do that, then mm -hmm. there's going to be some sort of ostracization. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't be a part of the community. So are we fighting a war that we, we are realistically going to win? Is there hope? Um, at the end of the day, 
women will win. But for now, I don't think so. It's it, there's still a long way for for women to to win because the, the the root is so deep. Because we're talking about generations, we've mm-hmm. been takura teaches what these things. So, yeah. so what do you think? What do you suppose it's going to take? Your young men, mm-hmm. your twenty twenty one type people, mm-hmm. and it's like you were enlightened. You know about women's rights. You yeah. know about all the. Are you comfortable with women in your lives needing? And in which areas, if we have to be specific, if you're not entirely comfortable with them leading? Personally, I wouldn't be comfortable if my wife, right, is leading in the home, right? Why? Because I, I am, I, all right, I'm classified as the head of the, of the house. I have to make sure that my wife is taken care of. I need to make sure that my kid is taken care of. In the corporate world, yes, I'll be very happy. <laughs> okay, okay. Where, she's, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. She, where she can, she can lead. But in the home, I need. I I feel like I have that responsibility. I need to take uh, that responsibility as a husband, as a father. So if she says, "Okay, I am leading in this home," what does that do to you? Because you said you would be uncomfortable with her leading. But Kubasa, said, oh, she can do that. And let me just say, this is not the mm-hmm. first time that I've heard this. I've heard so many, even women say, Kubasa, why did boss? But the minute I know that will change, that will change, that will my way, Papo, I have to serve my husband. All right. Can, can, we, can we classify or define leading in the home as, as a woman? What kind of roles are you taking? Okay, well, uh, Jasper, you're the one who you spoke about. My name Ryan, who was leading. What was he doing? <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so my memory, an example, she, you know, like when they started, got married, the husband was taking her over, like he had a good job, things were really going well and the job, uh, and the economy crashed and all of a sudden he lost the job Mm -hmm. and now they had to maintain a lifestyle that they created. The, the mom had to go out, you know, like out of the country go and buy things, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell until, you know, like um, things started going back into their lifestyle. And, but still being submissive, uh, she just always put the husband in front. Okay. Baba Ningi, Ndimno So when people ask, I want to Baba though she knows that the money is what? Is it's her money. Is her money. So apparently even when I was talking to her, like she was, she was really open. She was saying that, you know, we, we, we just want to, to support our husbands and because we just know that our husbands sometimes yeah <laughs> yeah but we literally are uh are leading but i wouldn't know you know i wouldn't know because i'm not always in their in yeah. their home and i wouldn't know how they like how she would probably treat the dead you know like you know you, you never know what people are doing at, so, at home yeah uh, okay so i like that yeah part mm. you don't know how she's treating him which i suppose ties in with what mm-hmm. Munashi is saying yeah exactly. uh, when you say i'm uncomfortable with <laughs> leading mm. which yeah. part Argo badra school fees Argo tenga chikaf. When does it become uncomfortable? Because let's remember that mm-hmm. you two got together, man, yama yime, and this is it. <laughs> so that she, she are you not 50 50? So, all right, I'll, I'll answer probably the question and answer what what. Okay. Will you be, as a woman, be comfortable paying the school fees, paying the rentals, buying food, whilst I'm not being able to do anything? If you are not able to do it, I think it's only reasonable for me as your partner to be able to do it because I've got the money. I love, I love, it's, I love, I love the term reasonable. Reasonable, mm-hmm. yeah, because it's we, we need to understand and put it into context. Why is it that you can't pay the fees? Mm-hmm. And is it, why yeah. is it that you can't pay the rent? Exactly. Maybe you are sick, so obviously I can't expect you on your you know um, um, hospital bed mm-hmm. to be doing these things. Okay. And is it uh, maybe Maria Butambira? High school kwana. Mm. But then again, I also know Basarawun Shanda. Mm. So do I expect you to rob a bank <laughs> so that you can provide for these children? If I've got the money, then what's wrong with me providing? Just see, Anna, then I would then have a problem with providing when I know that you've got the money, but mm. you just don't want to pay. You don't want to do your half of what's supposed to happen in the home. Right. So the other reason why I think women won't win is that if our mothers were doing that back then, covering for our fathers, they're doing a very good job because it seems like these days, especially with the social media, mm-hmm. <laughs> you would know that because Andrew said that it's your time. 
inini ma, ma, ma incidents akawanda ndinoona okay so mkaza ari kuratidza kuti ndiri kuchita this month ndinda badira rent ndinda tengera ndabadira vana school fees if you go on social media as a man and you do the same thing do you get flagged for that as a man i, I will never do that you never do what like posting that i'm i'm the one who's providing everything in the house okay on social media mm-hmm. no no why not it's not it's not it's not our nature as, as as men as men uh, i mean in answer and down now but to know one never room one post and being so to speak but you know those are special cases <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I actually actually i actually want to say good yeah yeah no no there are men who do that actually mm. there are men who probably uh you know growing up they probably weren't lucky with with women and that maybe they got married and they got money and women started flocking to them and they just want you know to show off okay so i do think i do think yes maybe that's your nature of saying that uh, i wouldn't do that but some will tell you ah this one doesn't want to do this so anabas let me just leave. there's this guy i think he was um, on his phone like doing a live he was saying hey, i used to follow what's his name do we need to call, tell, tell? No, not really. Okay, no, but, but like you follow this personality <laughs> yeah. and he was like, yeah, and then and then the, and the and then he wanted to try to talk to this girl and this girl was like, "Hi, how are you?" And this girl was like, "Ah, like she 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 pretended like she wasn't I don't know if she pretended or and he was like, "Ah, okay, let me go to the next one." You know, oh, wow. that that element okay. of saying like, "Let me go to the next one because I have all the money and okay. I can do what I want to do and I can just go and spoil another one." Wow, okay. So, so I do think so, yeah. so women are disposable in that in that uh, in that, that line of thinking. Yes. So going back to what you were saying uh-huh. about uh, you know being comfortable with a woman leading in the house. Mm. We have seen an increase in domestic violence cases mm. and we check and I've spoken to a lot of people who have also said, you know, kana 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 Maria ke chikitsi big head, but a lot more needed. I'm thinking what needed what we just say. O badira rent here. What is whoneriva from a man's point of view? Because I just don't understand that. What is she doing? Whoneriva is like you're now looking down upon me now because probably you have money or more money or you are sure. Yeah. So, so is a woman in that in that same line of thought? Is a woman supposed to have less money than the man? No, we are not saying that. We are not saying that. We're saying a, a woman can have money, more money than 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 a man. Than, than a man. Okay. But yeah. there's that level of respect. Yeah. Right. The way the way that you used to talk to me when you don't when you didn't have money. Is it that's not, is it not possible though that this is all in your head because it's been magnified now? We mm. know that money, just like you were giving an example. Yeah. Money changes the power dynamics. Exactly. If I'm if I'm not coming to you anymore, and she didn't do that money change, I'm just gonna buy it. 12 loaves of bread because that's <laughs> that's what I can afford and all of that yeah. then you suddenly have a problem can you really say as my partner you're allowing me to lead because leadership that requires me scanning the situation no not forget us and then me acting, acting why can't that. you be happy for me or happy because at least you know what she's got this so she's mm-hmm. riding the wave and making sure that everything is done in the house i think also like uh, j- just coming to that point where you're asking i i think the powerful like how you express yourself like as a woman mm-hmm. maybe it's how you s- speak mm-hmm. to 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 meet the men or maybe how not just not just words but the expression you could say because like as men we have ego that's that's the honest truth okay. like as men we always have ego and we when we see that like even the point you were talking about like say back in the day you used to ask and now you just have to do yes in a now way we can, to swipe up. yeah and i don't want to say around. even in a, yeah. in a way like we're happy for you but at the same time i need to do better or maybe i need to do better but i can see good and like i can't get to that level now mm. maybe you've gone to that level. and and again it takes a person of with maturity like like a real maturity and it's not easy i wouldn't say like every man can do it but i think it just takes a person that really understands that the dynamics have changed and then we shift but i think cornerero has to do with the expression and how you speak so give so, me an example mm. of cornerero the expression and how women speak how we women allegedly speak mm. when we've got the money <laughs> okay because when i wanted it yeah, yeah. Oh, it's true example. 
ndo sika kumba ndo na pango you bought a new stove you bought a new fridge you you bought, yeah. you bought yeah. a new tv i'm not saying you're not supposed to buy yeah. but at least give me a heads up communicate and is it? yeah i'm thinking of buying a tv i'm thinking of buying a stove or fridge i'm not saying i'm not saying you, you shouldn't buy yeah but it's just the same i just come back home with a new car and i told it's my car okay. how, how would you feel well yes we are saying we are in a partnership okay so it's about it's, it's about it being a partnership how you how you how you're now acting mm-hmm. because you have money okay Okay, I'm I'm trying to think. Mm. Which is to be that was which I behave in those kind of in ways. In those kind of ways, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, and I'll speak on behalf of the women. Some women will agree, some won't. Mm. But you go to your husband, you say, you know what? Three jetty na yoi gay, yaku budam vura, and so I think you're so tall now, and you had it for donkey years. Mm. Can we buy you fridge? Once I'm done, we're at such a good age. Hey, hey, see, pane pane my projects. Yeah, pane. Pane get deals. 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 So you keep talking to him, mm. asking for permission sometimes, or permission, or you know some collaborative effort. Okay. But then I just know that you hit a brick wall, and then you also ipapo zimengo aku tere la is because mara is yako. So na nanti kumbwa maria TV, and is it TV footy? I or no imbo mira isho. So you can't do anything. But when you've hustled, you've done whatever. It's like chiku zega no mo tenga TV yang. After what's wrong, you're money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Afterwards, not your man. Like I could actually feel yeah. it. Though. Like I, it's not your money. money. Like I actually felt it. You know, because but afterwards, it's not your money. It's it, it's not. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So so I get that. And it is so mm. talking about money. The women get money in different ways. Yeah. She's going to hustle at it on Sika. And she's thinking things online or whatever. Mm-hmm. But we also have these women who are in these corporate offices who have risen really sharply. Yeah. And they are heading. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm side, they're hitting the men, they're hitting, you know, hundreds and sometimes even thousands of people. Yeah. As a man, how does that make you feel when you realize that you've got a woman, an ambition? Mm-hmm. And you see, perhaps she is more driven than you, but I don't really want to make it a comparison thing, but she is it's driven. driven. She is a go-getter and she will not stop until she gets that. I, I personally, okay, I'm, I'm looking for the right word to say, but I think... That kind of woman is is more attractive. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the best way I can put it out. It's more attractive. Uh, it's always good to to have a, a, a woman with ambition because at the end of the day, you're also motivated as a man, mm-hmm. right? She's there are standards that are being set, right? You need to be on the same level of thinking, right? Or uh, the same level of probably doing the same thing. So for me, I would really love a woman who's got ambition. Who actually knows where she wants to be? It's different. Whereby you have you have a partner who doesn't know what she really wants to to do in life, or where she, where she did where she she doesn't she doesn't know where she wants to go. So I think I think. Uh, so whilst these women are attractive, like like you say, mm-hmm. um, some of the studies have shown that the women at the top they are either divorced or they are single, single. women, yeah. and at some point. In society, she's deemed not fit for marriage because we are not yet aware. And it is like a strong kumbasa. So I have to wonder if you, as an example of men, and I've also spoken to several men who said, yeah. "Oh, that woman is attractive." Mm-hmm. Then how come my relationship dynamics are not changing? Can I you? And then you'll find the virtual vanuita ngava zinshwa like life is a breeze. Again, I think I think it's all about ambition again. And um, as men, sometimes we get too too intimidated. You know, this woman, like maybe she wants the best for you, and she's pushing you to go go to the next le- the same level as she's going. But you you probably are still at this level, like when you started meeting, and you're like, ah, you know what? We still zero pressure. Exactly, zero pressure. But she's like going, and she's not stopping. She's going, and she's challenging you, and. And because of our ego, again, the element of ego, uh, you feel like you are being, thre- like, um, what do you call it? You're being uh, pushed too much Is it her. wrong for her? Is it bad? Is it a bad thing for her to, to push you to say, you know, I bought it, I yeah. see that you could be so much exactly. good. Yes. No, no, it's, 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 it's not wrong. Really good. It's actually good. But also, I think it also will depend also on the way she pushes yeah. you. Yeah. Because also there's a, there's a way maybe she's pushing you in a 
place of like maybe she's 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 saying like she's like it's emotional right and then probably she starts uh telling you good you are not uh, like you are just like not uh, you're not like other men that i know you know like you're not like <laughs> him like <laughs> and that that is, look at ronald and that, that Yo, exactly. I, I was still missing so you're not even putting up yeah because we've got to be real with one another. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Face the facts and you yeah. know it's true. Exactly. Even when you look at yourself in the mirror, you yeah. know, you know it's true. It's true. Yeah. So how do you want us to proceed? How do you want to be pushed? How mm. do you want her to tell you to be better than what you are right now? Because she also wants to have that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And, is it, yeah. and she's saying, come with me. Mm-hmm. And then you are choosing something else. Something else. Something else. You know, you know Ronald, um, on the potential. It knows how to work on a sakat, 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 sakat. You just need to push yourself. You need to to uh, to improve yourself. Pan up, pan up, pan up. That's the way you can talk to a man. Uh, a secret with men is that men listen. The challenge with men is that men are slow. <laughs> Your words are mine. Yes, I'm telling you. Your words are mine. Okay. Your words. Yeah. 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 I'm saying men are slow because yeah. you find no one who's a murume is when they one. Okay, so let's talk about um, women in politics, women leading this space. Mm-hmm. If you've been following what has been happening in Zimbabwe, um, quite a lot of women face violence during campaigns. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there was that um, episode of Dr. Tokuzani Kupe, yeah. I'm not really seeing that happening to a man. And I have to think and wonder, Kuti. She chinopa murume or the courage to step up and say, you know, to you know, it could be a minister, it could be an MP, but someone who's holding public office to denigrate them and the position itself mm-hmm. to, to to that level. I'm not quite sure who's no fumba say ipapo. Are men, in your opinion, men in Zimbabwe ready to have women leading politics? No. I don't think so. If you look at even bigger countries like America like you can actually tell that they are actually also not really really ready yes they're trying to get there but they're not really really ready and when you talk about the uh, dr kope incident i think it's it's also it also has to do with that element of thinking that our women do, do they like you know that strength you know like i just see them as women they're not that strong enough they maybe they're emotional they 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 won't be able to lead, you know. Let's say if a woman is pregnant and she's the president of the uh, of Zimbabwe, how is she going to lead? But why yeah. is that? Why is that a problem? Why, I don't quite understand that. Why is that a problem? We've got that prime minister uh-huh. uh, where New Zealand, yeah, yeah. and uh, Jacinda uh, Jacinda Ardern, mm-hmm. she gave birth. She got pregnant and gave birth whilst in office, mm-hmm. you know, and she still managed to execute her duties. So. See, did you phone up with Kanamudzimaya? I to get an office. Our president is yeah. going to get pregnant. Oh my god! Like, people get pregnant all the time. People get pregnant all yeah, the time. Yeah. Yeah. And even with Bambi, we, we've got uh, domestic workers who get pregnant. Banama yeah. get pregnant. But you about Chishanda. But the minute it's public office, mm-hmm. there's an uproar. What you have told us with what people go through when you're being led with someone who's pregnant or. Oh, in the house, <laughs> people don't. Yeah, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. They hear their hormonal we, changes. Yes. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's World War Three. But does it? <laughs> but, but does it make her incapable of leading the country? No, I personally, I don't think so. Personally, I don't think so. It's it's like we said when we started the show. Um, these things were implanted in us mm-hmm. and it's been generations right whereby men have been have been leading, leading exactly. ruling. so it, it would take time we still have those people who actually think that women cannot do anything but personally i think that women are better leaders than men because you find that even in a marriage setup when a household setup it's the woman who makes things happen 
Let, being honest. All right. Let's talk about uh, so women in politics. Pane mm. or women in public spaces, mm. right? Pane ye ye name calling. And I've seen this. Mukaza kataura ivure. Or people want to know who she's sleeping with. Oh, yeah. Akawana basairoro. Because akarana somebody. Like, is it not possible that this woman is actually capable? And akuzoshwa akutaura, which is why she's in that position. Why do we always go to the default? Pane ye ye reason other than she's capable. From, from from this point of view, like I, I don't think it but I think it's 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 um it's what has been going on. Okay, so I'm just gonna divert a bit. Sure. So for example, there was this prominent there's a, this prominent guy, he is a musician, he writes very well. But there's this thing that he came up with and he was saying that a lot of people who have made it, especially uh, lady artists who have made it. They had to use sex to what, to 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 make it big, and yeah. they gave us also like the illustration of people actually not in Zimbabwe, the big stars that we know, and gave us examples that she had to sleep with this guy, she had to sleep with this guy, she had to sleep with that guy. So when you see that point of view where you're looking at that element of saying that, where well, wait this this star we knew this star when we were growing up, and she had to do that, so that means that probably. In our minds, we will think as young men, we will think, ah, so all women who are getting bigger job, uh, bigger promotions, or in 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 different offices, or in, in the government, or in the uh, in the private sector, maybe they might do the same thing. You, you see, yeah. so it's that perception that we actually get now to to think, ah, yes, they might be competent, but there's this kind of level. Are they able to get into that kind of level? So you what know, do we yeah. do? Because mm. you talk about some of these things, you have to implant Yeah. And it, yeah. Twitter say with the upcoming generation right now, um, and, and I think, you know, this is a good place for us to start having yeah. these conversations yep. about your perceptions of a woman in a position of leadership. Mm-hmm. I asked somebody the other day, I said, uh, do you think I could be president with the red lipstick on? She's, and this was a woman. She says, no, Tari, you can't. Okay. I said, mm-hmm. Why? And she said, red lipstick gives off a certain vibe. Really? Could I be the president wearing this kind of weave? No. So it's another discussion that we'll have on another day to about okay. beauty and uh, <laughs> leadership, what a female leader actually looks like. Uh-huh. But because Tinema stereotypes are Tinao and Soromelu, mm-hmm. it's, you know, that have been implanted over a long time. My question now is, so what do we do mm-hmm. with this young generation? Considering we are existing in a patriarchal society, but we also have our ratio of men to women. Women are more in this country. And we're saying we also want the women to lead mm-hmm. totally in order to coexist and work together. I think we, right. I think we should now focus on the upcoming generation in terms of teaching them, right? Um, talking to us as men as well, who have understood that women can take uh, political positions or any leadership positions. So if I'm raising my son, I shouldn't teach him in a way which in, no men are the ones who rule. But the way that I treat my wife. Right. The, if I give us a, a space, he will be learning. He will be learning on. Okay, there is a um, a position or space for women. So it's up to us now, grooming the upcoming generation. Can I teach you? Is also no. And from what teacher. Really, you think we can't? You think we can't? No, uh, we can't do anything. No. We can't change this mindset. No, I don't think so. Why? I don't think so. Oh, I don't think we can change this no, mindset. No, no, no. <laughs> You know, I, I always ask this question. Like you mentioned, you mentioned a point where you say, "I would love, like, I would love, like, I think maybe we're we're not on set, but okay. you're saying like, I would love for the man, like, I would love just to be at home and not work, and yes, the man sometimes. just sometimes, yeah. right? And and I will ask myself this question. Okay, so why do girls go to school? You know, like, why do why do we have to take them to college? Why do they have to do those things if men are just supposed to do <laughs> Okay, you so know, let me point. clarify. Let me clarify my point yes. because as a woman, mm-hmm. uh, you like you mentioned, you're running the household. You're you running also the household. have basa. Mm-hmm. You need to be your husband's wife. Yeah. You have to go to the church, and you've got to volunteer, and you've got to do this. At some point, mm-hmm. it also gets very tiring. And also, you're you know you're part of the family. Mm-hmm. You can't afford to take a seat back. 
Because Mukadzwa Tawanda is the one who has to show up. Kaku mm. represent Tawanda. It's not Tawanda who's going to be pa, pa moto. Mm. So sometimes mm. you just want to take a step back and say, you know what? Let you lead. Mm. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to go to school. Okay. I don't want to know. I need to have the option so mm. I can decide that this is what I want to do for myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. I, hear you. I do think it's, 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 it's possible. Though it might seem like it's just maybe uh, in the future, 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 but I think I think it's possible. It's how we we just balance, you know. Like if 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 racism was okay, it's still there, sadly. But nowadays, people are shunning it. People, you see, people playing uh, playing sports together. You see people, you know. I do believe with time. Yeah, we've, with we time, have come exactly. a long way. We have come a long way. And we, like, if if uh, the prime minister of uh, which country is this? Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. You see, if if we have prime ministers of New Zealand and even in Africa, we had the president from Liberia. Yeah. So so it's 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 really possible. And, and, and we've seen that there is competence also in women leading. Though sometimes we still have those mindsets of saying, like, what about the emotional elements and all that? I, I yeah. find that interesting. Yeah, I yeah. get the emotional aspect because uh, it's yeah. not just women who've got emotions. No, no, Men true. also have emotions. We're just talking about <laughs> you guys having an ego. But as we close this conversation, yeah. I want to ask you, mm-hmm. are you comfortable with a female boss, for example? Because this is a thing that comes up often. Yeah. A female boss, hey, you know, she's got all these issues. When a woman exhibits my traits of leadership, which is, yeah. you know, assertiveness, she knows what she wants, she yeah, will yeah. not mince her words, she is decisive, mm-hmm. and she will act. Then, ah, mom's are any problem. And this is, yeah. But if it's a man, it's like, oh no, you know, he's assertive, he knows what he wants, and he's courageous, he's brave. It's all very positive. I don't know in your personal experience mm-hmm. with women, female bosses. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never had a female boss. You've never had a female boss? you never had a female boss. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would just because <laughs> <laughs> okay. you're on camera. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, but 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 yeah. Hopefully, I, she's not just one. Well, yeah, she wasn't one. Actually, mm-hmm. she wasn't one. But I think I think it it also has to do with personality. Like, I don't think it's because she was female, but I think. It's because of her personality. So what would she do for you um, to say, oh, I don't think it's because, she, you know, she was like that because she was a female. <laughs> what was she doing? What was she doing? Well, I think uh, our, our relationship was rocky, up and down, up and down. But um, some of the things, you know, like, I, I think that's where sometimes I come to that point of saying the element of the emotional aspect. Like, you know, there were times when emotions would just go high and then you just are like under pressure all the time. And you're like, but guys, why? You know, but, but, but yeah. is, do you suppose, okay, mm. you talk about personality, but I yeah. also want to give Steve Jobs as an example. Okay. Uh, I was watching this interview. Um, yeah, the former Pepsi, uh, Pepsi co CEO. Mm. Um, and she said, you know, she went to visit Steve Jobs once. Okay. And he said, you know, sometimes you've got to throw a tantrum so that people really understand that you're serious. So he's a man and he's throwing a tantrum. Okay. But if this female leader throws a tantrum, it's like, oh, she must be on her period. Or, you know, <laughs> things, things like that. And uh, I, I, it has just, you know, made me wonder, hmm. Uti, at what point will we say, you know what, maybe it's me. Because this relationship, even though it's a female boss yeah. uh, subordinate relationship, mm-hmm. you are also playing a part in it. So maybe it was you. Maybe it's you looking at her <laughs> thinking, ah, my God, I'm going to be done a because we know there are people who are like that. No, no, that's true, actually. Yeah. That's true. I, I think that also plays a big part, to be honest. I don't want to lie. It really play, plays a big part. So we've been talking about patriarchy and female leadership in Zimbabwe, in this country. This conversation <laughs> is brought to you by Gender Media Connect, as well as Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe and the Swedish government. My name is Tarimana Miken, joining me in studio this uh, afternoon. We're Manashe and Jasper looking at patriarchy and leadership, female leadership. Are we ready for female leaders? You can follow us on all social media platforms and we'll be bringing you more episodes on this one. The podcast is are women leading a podcast for women by women in Zimbabwe stay safe